compatriots, fellow countrymen and women, congratulations, Mabrugu, Mabrugu, your movement, the SPLM, SPLA, and the National Congress Party government have delivered to you a comprehensive peace agreement, a just and honorable peace which we have signed today and which you have all witnessed. With this peace agreement, we have ended the longest war in Africa, 39 years of two wars since August 1955, out of 50 years of our independence. And if we add the 11 years of Anyanya II, then Sudan had been at war within itself for 49 years, which is the whole of its independence period. With this peace agreement, the SPLM and the National Congress Party government have brought half a century of war to a dignified end. Congratulations. With this peace agreement, there will be no more bombs falling from the sky on innocent children and women. Peace will bless us once more with hearing the happy giggling of children and the enchanting ululations of women who are excited in happiness for one reason or another. At the political level, this peace agreement affirms the right of self-determination for the people of Southern Sudan and the right of popular consultation for the people of the Nuba Mountains and Blue Nile so that the unity of the Sudan becomes based on the free will of the peoples instead of on wars and the forced and false unity of the last 49 years. This peace agreement will change the Sudan forever Sudan cannot and will never be the same again as this peace agreement will engulf. As this agreement will engulf the country in democratic and fundamental transformation instead of being engulfed in wars as it has always been for the last 184 years since 1821 when our country was first invaded by outside powers and exposed to the ravages of the slave trade and predatory commerce of all sorts and since before independence from 1955 in civil wars. This peace agreement coincides with the Sudan's 49th independence celebrations and I agree with what President Bashir said on 31st December in Naivasha when we signed the last two documents of the comprehensive peace agreement that Sudan's independence on 1st January 1956 was not complete because there was war in the south. The war we are ending today first broke out in Torit on August 18, 1955, four months before independence. And so the south, like other marginalized parts of the Sudan, were really not part of that independence. With this peace agreement, we begin the process of achieving real independence by all Sudanese people and for all the Sudanese people. This peace agreement therefore signals the beginning of Sudan's Second Republic of the New Sudan. From here on, Sudan for the first time will be a country voluntarily united in justice, honor and dignity for all its citizens, regardless of thy race, regardless of thy religion, regardless of thy gender or else if the country fails to rise to this challenge of moving away from the old Sudan to the new Sudan of free and equal citizens, then the union shall be dissolved amicably and peacefully through the right of self-determination at the end of the six years of the interim period. I call on the Sudanese people to join this peace agreement to join the SPLM and the National Congress Party in the peace process because this peace agreement belongs to them. It does not belong to John Garang or the SPLM leadership. It does not belong to 
Ali Osman Taha or President Bashir or to the National Congress Party. This agreement belongs to all of the Sudan, to its neighbors, to Africa, to the Arab world, and indeed to the rest of the world.